Hi, everyone. Um, I'm so happy to be here again in beautiful Krakow. Um, I've had a blast for the past two days. I hope you did too. And I hope you still have a bit of energy before uh, the next break, because I got a lot of cool things to show off. I'm Alex. Uh, I've worked at BAM for the past seven years, uh, developing mobile apps in React Native mostly. And um, I specialize in mobile apps performance. And if you know me, you know that I often tell this story of um, we had a client a while ago uh, coming to us, contracting us to build a mobile app and a web app sharing code. Well, you know, if you've been following this conference, you know that, yeah, this is what we do, right? Uh, so we thought, mm, super cool. What was really interesting about this client was that they had a lot of technical standards, which was really nice. And specifically on the subject of performance, on the web, they told us this metric that we should, um, that we should have, that our Lighthouse cores on all of the web pages should be over 90. So if you don't know what Lighthouse is, I Googled it the other day, and uh, apparently it's a movie starring Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. Um, so, you know, Google doesn't know me at all, evidently. This is a screenshot from my actual phone. Uh, no, the one I'm talking about is this one. You know, you go to Google Chrome. Um, you can get on any web page, basically click a button, and instantly you get a performance report. Uh, for funsies, like, did, tried it out with Google.com. Um, ironically, the score was only 80 out of 100, uh, which I thought was ironic, because, you know, Lighthouse is also from Google. But uh, anyway, client's requirement on the web, Lighthouse core over 90. That's a nice metric to follow. On the app, uh, they just told us the app should not lag, period. So I thought, OK, how can we actually measure scientifically that the app is not lagging? So I turned to Google for answers, because um, ChatGPT not a thing at the time. And I came across this uh, gold standard by Google that the app should run at 60 FPS. Uh, actually, more for certain devices. Because you know, an app is basically like a movie. It's animated pictures. Uh, if you scroll through Instagram, the app is going to be responsible to draw 60 images per second of your screen going up to give you an impression of smooth scrolling. But is that enough? Well, you've heard uh, William call it le nerf de la guerre. Uh, of course, some other metrics like the J-thread usage come into play uh, if we're uh, React Native developers. For example, here I have an app, um, beautifully designed, I must say, uh, with a kill JS button that runs like a uh, very expensive calculation on the JS thread. So of course, if I click it, then I can click click me, nothing happens until KillJS finishes, and then, boof, OK, it works. So we need to take that into account as well. And if you were here last year, you know that I presented the Performance Monitor Flipper plugin that takes both of these into uh, account, JS and UI, and at the end of it, gives you a performance core for what you're doing in the app when you were measuring. I think this was already pretty cool, and we got a lot of nice feedback on it. But how far are we actually from the Lighthouse dream? So Lighthouse, you can actually take any app and you know, measure its performance. Here, we do have to install the Flipper plugin. Uh, also, we can only measure debug apps, because well, you don't want to have Flipper in production, actually. And to be honest, it's kind of limited. It just checks UI and JS FPS. It, doesn't really embrace uh, everything that can happen to check the impact of big changes, like, oh, if you're switching to new architecture, for example, how do you know if uh, your performance is better or worse? So the question is, can we do better? Well, today, I am very thrilled to present to you uh, the new project we've been working on, which is called Flashlight. Um, the joke being that Flashlight is kind of like a pocket lighthouse, so like a mobile lighthouse. So, you know, suitable for a lighthouse for mobile apps. Um, so let me show you a quick demo. The quickest way uh, to use it 
is actually via a Flipper plugin. You can also use it via CLI quite easily. Oop, let me reduce this view here. And so here's my uh, real phone that I'm sharing. And let's say I have yet another beautifully designed app, um, example app, with two fantastic buttons. I did not install anything on the app. I can just open the flashlight plugin, click Auto Detect here, um, hit Start Measuring, and instantly I'm going to get a performance score on my app, which will actually depend on what I do. So for example, if I click, if I click Kill JS, of course my score is going down. I can see my frame rate also. So if I click Kill UI, uh, actually my phone is quite good, so I have to like really kill the UI to make the FPS really go down. Uh, of course, I'm killing the UI thread, so the FPS is going down. But I also get a bunch of other metrics, like CPU usage and CPU usage per thread. For example, this is the JS thread. So if I click Kill JS, I can see the JS thread uh, CPU usage going much higher. Basically, with the previous plugin, you had zero JS FPS. Uh, this is what you wanted to avoid. Here, you need to avoid like the you know CPU going to 100 because this means the app will be unresponsive. You also get RAM usage, and actually, you can even inspect all the threads that you have in your app, which might be useful. Uh, for example, you know here we have the UI thread again when I click the the button. So already, I think this is pretty cool. We have like a Nice improvement over the previous plugin. I don't need to install anything. I got a lot of other metrics uh, for, for my app. But it doesn't really stop there, because basically, I can test any app with that. They can be in debug. They can be in production. They don't even have to be in React Native. I don't even have to own them. For example, I could go ahead and measure scrolling performance of Twitter, which is actually pretty good because, well, my device is pretty good. But you know, might want to compare performance between uh, Twitter and Blue Sky you know, for science. This would be one of the ways to do it. All right, so this is, uh, this is Flashlight. Um, it's worth noting that it only works on Android so far. Uh, if you want to do, if you do want to have uh, iOS support for it, uh, you can voice, you can voice it on the GitHub repository. There's an issue actually detailing, uh, detailing it. But it's worth noting that there's a massive performance difference between the most sold iPhone. Uh, this was like the most sold iPhone uh, in France in 2021. Basically, it can actually run JavaScript 10 times as fast as the most sold Android phone in France in 2021 according to geekbatch.com. So this is why we focus a bit more on Android. All right, but if you were here last year, you know that I talked about one thing, and this is the fact that performance measures are not deterministic. So uh, you know, if you measure your app uh, startup time, maybe at some point it's going to be 4 seconds, and the next time it's going to be 3.9. And you'd be like, oh. I shaved off 0.1 seconds. Hey, maybe it's just randomness. You don't really know that. So last year, I said to make your measures as deterministic as possible, there's a few things we can do. Uh, average your measures over several iterations. As much as possible, keep the same conditions, you know, network, et cetera, over for every measure, and automate the behavior you want to test. But dang it, isn't that just annoying? and? Time, time consuming, right? Well, luckily, I'm really happy to tell you that Flashlight also got you covered. Because via the CLI, you have the Flashlight test common. How it works, basically, is you can pass any end-to-end -end test or even ADB common that does stuff in your app. And if you were like, oh, end-to-end -end test, that sounds really annoying to do, actually, and you can check out Henry's talk next. You might be in for a surprise. And essentially, Flashlight Test, what it's going to do is it's going to run your end-to-end -end test several times. It's going to gather performance metrics and output them in a JSON file. Uh, basically, yeah, kind of an ugly JSON file. But um, there is then actually a comment that you can use on the CLI to actually open this JS file and have your report just like you would have in Flipper. 
So here, we were actually measuring scrolling performance in one of our apps um, that was using a flat list. And it was pretty terrible, score three out of 100. So what did we do to improve it? Well, we switched flat list for flash list. A lot of fla. Um, and so we reran the test with the newly updated uh, APK with flash list and got an other JSON of measures. But what's really nice is that to easily check the impact of the change, you can actually run flashlight report with your first JSON of measures and your second JSON of measures, and you actually get a report with a comparison. We had a lot of heavy UI components, so flash list was much better. Uh, what I really like is that, yeah, you have the graphs with neat colors, and you can easily see that, for example, CPU usage is just much better for flash list in yellow than it is for uh, flat list in blue here. It's worth noting that there's actually no correlation between flashlight and flash list, except, well, a lot of letters. And yeah, the fact that using flash list tend to make uh, your flash list score go up. All right, but can we do better? Because if you think about it, well, Lighthouse, it was, you know, the promise was simple. You take any website, you pass it, and boom, performance score. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just like take any app pass it to something, and get a performance score. Well, I'm very happy today. This is what I'm actually most thrilled about today to present to you Flashlight, the dev. And let me show you how it works. So essentially, Flashlight, the dev, up, let me just increase this. Flashlight, the dev is a website. Or you can just drag and drop your APK. So here I have a sample React Native app. Let's see what it looks like. It's just a basic Twitter clone in React Native. And the only thing I need to do, so Wi-Fi is a bit slow, but don't worry. I got the report. Um, I yeah, will skip to the end of it, probably. Uh, but the only thing that you need to do to get your time to interactive is here to say what text will appear in the app when it has finished loaded. Uh, so for example, here, when the app is loaded, it will display like Dojo Wordle here. So we'll just put it here. And when the APK has finished uploading, I can just click Send Me My Performance Report then what's going to happen is basically Flashlight is going to run the test command in the cloud for you, uh, outputting a bunch of logs like this, running 10 iterations of your test. So it's going to be starting the app, waiting for something to be visible, Dojo Wordle, and then gather performance metrics. So at the end of it, you will be able to automatically get the performance report like this just by drag and dropping the APK, filling in an input, clicking Submit, waiting 10 minutes, boom, you have it. What's really cool about this as well is, well, you get all the same metrics. And one of the features that were widely um, asked for when we were in private beta is that you can actually uh, check on the graphs. And the video of the test actually follows. So for example, here, you might be wondering, what is this peak CPU usage? Well, you know, of course, here, like, the app is starting, and we're, we're displaying stuff. So this is why this is happening. Uh, it's worth noting as well that since this is running 10 iterations, uh, we can also see each iteration individually and, and go through them. But we default to showing just the average. So I feel like we flashlight the dev we're coming really, really close to the Lighthouse dream. And I'm really happy to say that it is actually now in public beta. So you can all go to flashlight.dev, basically upload your APK, and it's totally free, at least for now, while we can pay the bills, because we're actually running those on a real device in the cloud. Um, and you can get your performance score. Can we do?
can we do even better? Because you might be thinking like, okay, this is cool, but I only have like startup performance. Um, why, what if I need to like just you know log in on my app to, to just display the score and everything? What if I want to do something else in my app, like testing scrolling performance? Well, we also have the flashlight cloud comment. So you can actually use it on CLI, upload an APK, upload a maestro test, and you can basically measure the performance of anything you would do on your app in the cloud. And it's actually quite easy to integrate with any CI, and we particularly love EAS. So we have a doc to actually add an um, EAS hook to your app so that every time you submit to production, for example, you get your performance score. <laughs> All right, but one last thing. Who of you will have the best flashlight score? Because I'd like to introduce the Flashlight Launch Contest starting now and until next week. Basically, to get a nice uh, prize, all you need to do is go to flashlight.dev, get your app stats score, just tweet at BAMLAB and share a screenshot of your Flashlight report uh, and your app also preferably. And we'll publish the top scores next week and the top score will actually receive a cool prize. Just a few conditions though. Um, your app should be on the Play Store with over 100 downloads, because otherwise, you know, you could just like init a new Expo project and probably get a hundred out of a hundred score. That would be maybe too easy. That would be smart to do, sure. Um, and also, please fill the what text will appear field. You don't need to fill it to get the the your actual score, but it's nice to get the um, TTI. All right. Actually, I have a little bit of time left. That's amazing. So I actually switched to some slides that I didn't think I would be able to do. It's all the things we want to do next, because actually, we're very eager to hear about your feedback. Uh, but like I said, one thing that Flashlight kind of do is explore the app on its own. So we actually want to be experimenting with app auto exploration so that you just have to drag and drop your app. And actually, Flashlight would be able to tell you if your performance is actually good or not. We also want to be adding more metrics. We think battery life, for example, is a very important metric to be having. And network also could be cool. Uh, and yeah, deal a bit more with stats, because average, eh, if you have doubled a bit with stats, you know that it's not necessarily the best thing. Um, but yeah, in any case, let us definitely know what you think. And. All right, yeah, that's pretty much it for it. Go to Flashlight Dev, get your performance core. I will be over there at the BAMS booth, actually, because now there is a break. So if you have any questions, uh, or if you want to show off that you have a cool score or need any help with getting your score, feel free to talk to me. <laughs>